Amo, you've done a lot of talking before the fight. Is, are you going to turn that words into actions on Saturday night? Absolutely. And you know what? Hamza's done a lot of talking as well. Uh, it's just the face-to-face. -face. Now, you know, I'm the guy that's going to carry the energy. I'm not going to ride that nonchalant line because it's not nonchalant for me. I want this with my whole soul. So I'm going to put it on display for everybody to see. And you can both bang, so it's not going to go the distance. What's going to happen? Definitely not going to go the distance. I'm going for the knockout, and I know I'm going to get it. This has been the best camp I've ever had in my life. Me and Kevin Cunningham came up with an amazing game plan. He's done this 11 times at world championship level, and I'll be his 12th world champion. He's got a lot of fans there booing you. What do you make of that? We knew that. We knew we were coming into this environment. I respect everybody here. I respect the culture. I respect the Muslim culture. I'm so grateful to be here. But I knew I was fighting Hamza, a guy that's Muslim of the Muslim descent. And I knew I had to come here to take what I needed. That's what champions do. That's what greats do. Chances make champions. Risk takers are the ones who win at the end of the day. Let him be in a comfortable environment. Let him be surrounded by support. Let him. That makes the victory so much more sweet. Any super world champion, anybody warlords of the past, they had to go and take things, and this is my first one. Brilliant. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.